What is going on, guys? Welcome to the Wrestling World Podcast. As always, I'm your host, Austin Boyer. Before we get into tonight's video, hit that notification bell, like this video, and subscribe. We are on the road to 1.15k subscribers, so hopefully we get there soon. Alright guys, I'm here to give you guys the latest news in pro wrestling, the latest updated news. So, at a recent event, MVP uh, has, has said that he's not re-signing to WWE. Montel Vontanius Porter, who you all know is MVP, has said that he is not re-signing to WWE. Now, we've heard this news the other day, and I, for one, can't say I'm shocked, but... If this means that MVP can go on and do other things and have potential matches, so be it. And I wish him well. Um, Bobby Lashley is, is another one who who was removed from WWE's roster. So it's yet to be seen if Bobby Lashley is gone from WWE. It was said that his contract was going to expire soon. And we have not seen Bobby Lashley for quite some time. So it does raise a lot of questions. Now, usually when a WWE superstar is injured, they take them off the eternal roster until they come back. So that is normal. But given the fact that his contract is about to expire, raises some questions here. So when that is updated, I will let you guys know. So whenever that happens, I'll be here. Um, in other news, Roman Reigns could possibly return Saturday for SummerSlam, as well as Alexa Bliss and maybe a few others. We know that SummerSlam is this weekend. SummerSlam is also a pay-per-view event where you see a lot of returns, a lot of big surprises. It's WWE's biggest pay-per-view of the summer. So that to me is pretty cool that we can get Alexa Bliss because she's also rumored to be a part of the newly formed Wyatt Six, uh, formed by Bo Dallas, AKA Uncle Howdy. Now we know she has had a major role in Bray Wyatt's career. We know that she was a part of the Bray Wyatt saga. And so it would make much sense to have her added to this as well. In other news, guys, moving on from WWE, Jeff Jarrett is interested in purchasing TNA. Now, this is just a rumor that I've heard. I'm not going to confirm this. This is just a rumor, and I don't want to confirm anything. But when I hear rumors, I want to let you guys know because maybe you heard something I didn't. So Jeff Jarrett uh, and Jerry Jarrett were the ones who founded TNA back in 2002. And, you know, they, they gave it up. You know, Dixie Card took over, Anthem Sports took over, and so on and so on. So, with this news breaking that Jeff Jarrett could possibly come back to TNA, may very well change the landscape of TNA itself because you have Jeff Jarrett who is a pioneer in pro wrestling. He's been everywhere. Jerry Jarrett, who was a legend in the wrestling business. And when TNA was around back in 2002 to 2005 and 7, TNA was doing pretty good. Mind you, in those days, Jeff Jarrett was a big heel. Jeff Jarrett was a major part in TNA, not just a booker and promoter, but a wrestler himself, a former NWA champion. So... If Jeff Jarrett can come back to TNA, that could help TNA tremendously. I, for one, think TNA is doing pretty decent now. But imagine getting Jeff Jarrett back. Imagine getting Jeff Jarrett back on the TNA side. I think that'd be pretty cool. As far as another, well, I didn't mention this before, but Roman Reigns is expected to return to SummerSlam, setting up the Bloodline versus the Bloodline 2 Possibly at War Games. Um, now, again, this is just a rumor, but who knows? Um, it could happen. Well, I, I think Roman Reigns could possibly return at SummerSlam. I think SummerSlam is the best opportunity for Roman 
to return unless they want to hold it off till Survivor Series War Games and they have him return at the event itself. Now, who knows? But we shall see, guys. What are your thoughts, y'all? Do you, uh, do you think, you know, we'll see Roman this week? Do you think we'll see Alexa Bliss? It's been a loss since it's been there. Do you think Uncle Howdy versus Chad Gable will be made official? Has it been made official yet? But we're still early into Monday Night Raw, so hopefully we get an update on that. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Oh, before I forget, Freddie Prince Jr. is supposed to be making a big announcement on his new wrestling promotion. Sorry, y'all, this just popped in my head. So, Freddie Prince Jr., former WWE writer, you know, he's, had, he's played a, a pivotal role in pro wrestling. And he is starting his own wrestling promotion. Now, we know that when people start their own wrestling promotion outside of WWE, it sometimes doesn't go, doesn't, doesn't go great, you know? But Freddie Prince Jr. being a writer and having a decent mind for pro wrestling, this could be something. And I, for one, am excited to see not just pro wrestling evolve, but having a new company, having new talent, new storylines, and seeing pro wrestling being taken to another level. Now, I don't know how well this promotion is going to succeed, but it'll be very interesting to see how it turns out. So, it is what it is. Have a good day, guys. God bless. Hope you like this video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you hear any rumors, let, let me know in the comments. Let me know your thoughts about SummerSlam this weekend. If you think Roman's going to return, if you think Alexa Bliss may return. And if so, how will they return? Will they get involved in some sort of way? What do you think about Jeff Jarrett coming back to TNA? Possibly MVP. You know, possibly having a match. Bobby Lashley not resigning. I mean, there, there's so much to talk about, guys. But what are your thoughts? Please, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like this video. Subscribe to the Wrestling World Podcast. As I said before, we are on the road to 1.15K subscribers, guys. We have reached that 1K subscriber goal. We have reached 1,117 1, subscribers. We're at 1.1K right now. Let's get the 1.15K. Let's get the 1.10K. Let's get the 1.5K. <laughs> well, you know what? Let's get the 1.5K first, and we'll try to, you know. Um, but we shall see. Have a good day, guys. God bless. I'll see you soon.